All right, I'm going to level with you. I don't watch much TV. I know that might come as a shock, but one show I always make time for is Curb Your Enthusiasm. It's one of my all-time favorites, and the new series just started. Larry's back, and I thought to celebrate, we'd make a giant version of the now legendary Larry David sandwich. So if you're not a fan of the show, in season five, episode one, I think it is, Larry goes to a deli called Leo's. Now this deli has an entire menu full of sandwiches named after famous people. And Larry visits this deli all the time, so he's over the moon to hear that the owners finally added a sandwich to the menu called the Larry David Sandwich. That is until he learns of the contents of the sandwich. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it sounds appalling, but there's only one way to find out. Who knows? It might be charming in a smelly kind of way, like me. <laughs> <laughs> Right, let's get started. All right, I'm gonna start with the bread. Naturally. Don't cut towards your hands like this, kids. It's not safe. A healthy schmear of cream cheese. Should I put it on both sides? On the roof too? This is a Brexit baguette. Look how thin it is. Next, delicious capers. Never been a fan of capers, I'll, I'll be honest. Nuts? Yeah, those those wet nuts you get. Right, next we're going on with the white fish salad, which is a Jewish deli delicacy. Kind of like a posh tuna mayo, only with, uh, with white fish, not mayo. And uh, I made this earlier, and I think every time I look at this, it looks less appetizing. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> this is gonna taste so bad. Oh, yeah, this is not the kind of sandwich you would eat on a first date. I kind of want to burn this bowl now. All right, next it's the uh, the sable, which is uh, it's just under the word for Atlantic black cod apparently. And I had to get this from a specialist online fishmonger, and it cost me 60 quid for two pounds of it. Oh. <laughs> you said this was a good idea. Yeah, <laughs> and the final ingredient, just in case it wasn't smelly enough already, is onions. At least this will give it a little bit of colour, you know? Uh. Why? Ta-da! <laughs> you know what I wanted to do? I wanted to say it looks pretty, pretty, pretty good. But it looks absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Alright, not just any Larry David sandwich, but a giant Larry David sandwich. I think the challenge here is not going to be so much the amount of food, but just the contents of the sandwich. I'll throw up a calorie count on the screen and we'll get a time to go just for fun. But without further ado, this is a bit soon. This is the biggest Larry David sandwich ever eaten. Assuming I managed to eat it. Who's <laughs> gonna? I don't know where to start. I'm gonna have to cut it somewhere. Should we do a cross section? Straight down the middle. <laughs> oh man. Finest looking cross section ever. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, I'm getting a lot of food. It's true. Ah, listen, Benoit, welcome back to another episode. <laughs> Look at my face. This is one for all those people that missed the uh, the giant home cooking videos. I haven't done many this year. Also one for uh, any Curb Your Enthusiasm fans out there. <coughs> it's not the kind of sandwich that a bearded man should eat. The smell of this is going to be on my face for the rest of the day. <laughs> the sable and the whitefish salad is... It's nauseating to say the least. The capers don't help. <sighs> Not that I expected them to help. I am, after all, no devotee of the caper. But uh, yeah, here we have it, the Larry David sandwich. And uh, I thought it would be a good idea to do this, not only because 
the new series of Cub just started and I'm a huge fan, but also because I've always been intrigued to find out just how bad this sandwich would taste. Turns out pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> it's just getting to me now. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, I eat a lot of fish, so I'm not squeamish when it comes to uh, to seafood, but the combination of cream cheese, the white fish salad, and the sable was just repugnant. A prawn salad would be like this work compared to this. Yeah, one prawn salad, please. I think this, this could have used a bit of zing, like some lemon juice, maybe. Oh, Mrs. Beard's the rescue. But it's not whatnot. Oh. You know, I think if it was just the, uh, the the white fish salad with the capers, the cream cheese, it wouldn't be nice, but it would be tolerable. The addition of the sable in there, the, the black cod, just makes it really kind of oily and it's more the texture that's, that's painful than the actual taste. You can see why Larry wanted to swap with Ted Danson the whole time. You have to let us know in the comments if you want to see the Ted Danson sandwich because that sounds like it's actually tasty. That's what turkey breast, Russian dressing, coleslaw. I could get behind that, but this. Just sable in there. Yeah, something about the, the, the sable fish, also known as the uh, the butter fish, or just smoked black cod, which just alongside the, the cream cheese did, did not work. That's the best I can say about it. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to be able to finish this. <laughs> well, suck it up, man. It's just a sandwich. The only time I've ever felt like this, where I'm nowhere near full, but it's making me want to throw up, is do you remember the Oyster World Championships? Even the oysters didn't taste this bad. Yeah, and I won 800 quid for eating those oysters. This sandwich almost cost me 70 just to make. Or would you rather do 10 of those? Or 10 of the um, one chips? Or oh, 10 of the one chips? <laughs> I'd almost rather do the tube of terror again. I've been serious, it's, it really is as bad as it sounds. I'm sorry that this is so disgusting too. But. Don't complain in the comments because you didn't have to eat it. <laughs> that really is the most disgusting part. And you don't have to smell it. You're gonna have to fumigate the entire thing here. Yeah, I'm not sure fumigation is gonna cut it. I think we might have to get a priest to exercise the entire building just to be on the safe side. <laughs> We're almost there though now. Just mopping up a few pieces of whitefish, whitefish salad, which by the way, we don't have in the UK at all. I've never seen it anywhere. Apparently it's quite widely available in the, uh, in the US. But it's pretty much, it's just any kind of white fish, you know, cod, haddock or something like that, mashed up. You add some mayonnaise, some lemon juice, some chives, some dill, that kind of thing, and make it into kind of a, you know, a white fish mayonnaise, which actually in itself tastes all right. It doesn't taste half bad. It's really the fact that this thing contains so many ingredients which don't complement one another that makes it not work. I'm speechless this <laughs> time. I'm eating this really slowly because I'm actually quite close to throwing up. That's silent. I'm getting my game face on now. <laughs> we got to get it finished. Yeah, for all those people that are asking me to do that stinky fish challenge, the surf swimming challenge, that ain't happening. If it's anything like this. <sighs> yeah, hard pass from me on the surf swimming challenge, that fermented herring stuff. People keep asking me to do it. Ain't happening. It's hard enough as it is for me to find my way into the, uh, the marital bed. <laughs> Unsurprisingly. Speaking of which, actually, my favourite scene in this uh, this episode, which I watched right before we filmed this, is uh, is where Larry's um, you know, he's getting intimate with his wife Cheryl. The phone rings halfway through, and he answers it, and has like a full conversation with his best mate Jeff, <laughs> which is something I would definitely do. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. <laughs> if anyone made it to the end of this video. I commend you. This is Baby Scrubbing. That was the biggest Larry David sandwich you've ever eaten.
that was absolutely f dreadful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. I think Mrs. Beard did. There's a surprise. I'll catch you at the next one. I don't suppose there's any chance of tickle time tonight. I mean, it smells... It smells awful, doesn't it? Fishy.